Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Meghalaya Education Minister Rakam Sangma on Monday informed that the Education Department will hold recruitment and face-to-face -face interview of MTET candidate for LP government schools to fill that 1,200-plus seats in the government LP schools. The notification of advertisement will be issued on Friday 14th. Sangma also informed that the government intends to fill up these posts in a maximum of two months, likely before 15th August. Chanmari Artificial Turf witnessed thrilling clashes as the Inter-Mahari football tournament kicked off with a women's category matched and a fiercely contested men's category encounter on Monday. In the women's category, the teams of Koski and Ningminja took the defeat with high hopes of securing victory. Despite the relentless efforts to score goals, both teams remained deadlocked at 0-0 until the final whistle. The Jaintia Students' Movement, or JSM, this morning organised a protest against the Jaintia Hills Autonomous District Council at the council's entrance to voice the concerns pertaining to the illegal tax gate set up by the Karbi Anglong Autonomous Council at Khanduli Village, which is very much within the council's jurisdiction and the state boundary. The leaders of the JSM said that the tax gate does not only violate the territorial jurisdiction of the council, but the state of Meghalaya too. The Mahila Congress Women's Wing of the Indian National Congress staged a sit-in protest in Agartala to address the escalating incident of drug addiction and the crime against women, including rape cases, in Tripura. The demonstration, which lasted for four hours, commenced at approximately 11 a.m. on Monday in the Orient Chaumohi area. Notable Congress leaders, including State President Ashish Kumar Saha, MLA Sudip Roy Barman, MLA Gopal Chandra Roy, and former MLA Diba Chandra Rangkhal actively participated in the protest. At least one person was killed and several people injured on Monday following violent overnight clashes in Manipur's Imphal West and Kangpokpi district border area, army sources said. Sources added indiscriminate firing was heard from Fayang and Singda villages aimed at nearby villages and in general area Kangchup. Exchange of fire between two communities took place. Army sources added proactive action by Assam rifles resulted in cessation of firing by VRs on Monday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be conferred with the Lok Manya Tilak National Award in Pune on August 1 in recognition of his supreme leadership and for awakening the feeling of patriotism among citizens, organised said on Monday. The Tilak Smarak Mandir Trust, Hin Swaraj Sang, will confer the Lok Manya Tilak National Award upon Prime Minister Narendra Modi on August 1, the 103rd death anniversary of Lok Manya Tilak. Trust President Deepak Tilak said in a release, it said India climbed the ladder of progress under the supreme leadership of the Prime Minister under the con of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Virat Kohli has shared a heartwarming pause with Rahul Dravid ahead of the Dominica Test against West Indies as both men returned to Windsor Park after 12 years after being teammates in 2011 at the same venue. This will be the first time in six years that Dominica will host a test match with the first one being in 2011 during India's tour. The visitors would have a 1-0 lead in the series being led by MS Dhoni. However, Shiv Narayan Chandapal's 116 did give them a scare in the match in Dominica. Thank you for listening. To Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon. Mithela.